Hello and welcome to Stockton Junction. This is continuation of the barn build. I thought I'd show you where I'm at so far with it and also what else I've been working on. Um, so I've repainted the inside of the barn uh, to a better, what I think is a better colour. And I, I'm ready now to put the roof on. Uh, I'm just going to, I'll give you a little tip on that in a minute. Um, so, but before we go into that, I'll just show you what else I've been doing. I've been making the farmhouse. That is a scale scenes kit. But also, um, I've added these terracotta um, pot, uh, chimney pots. And also the scale scenes uh, aerials, which are a uh, scale model scenery, sorry, aerials, um, which are very good. Um, I've also been working on a bit for the canal, started doing the canal pilings, which I'll go into more detail later um, on another video. And But first tip, even if you're building this building just as you see there when it comes to putting the roof on what I did uh, this one's glued on but basically used these clips which I bought from Aldi's cheap ages ago I bought a couple of packs because they're brilliant for model making um, they're clothes pegs but like that but they're rubber inside so they're quite good they don't dam damage things too bad so what did I do what I did was I placed the first roof, which actually was this side, obviously, um, in place and held it in place, lined, lined it up so it was central, offered up the next roof section to it to make sure that it was all lined up um, as good as possible. Um, so obviously this one was done. Then I was ready to glue the roof on. So... What I'll do now, obviously I'm holding the camera so I can't do it whilst filming unfortunately because my little tripod's broken, is I run super glue down all of these bars here, all the way down, down each one, put this roof on, making sure it's the right way, um, I'm going to have all this staining at the bottom as if it's run down rather than at the top. Um, so I'll put that, glue that on, clamp it at the ends like that one is. And then once it's clamped at the ends, you can concentrate on holding the roof section. So what I did was I placed a hand behind it and another one just pushing these sections here down so that the glue uh, dries and it sticks flat. That way you get a nice flat roof and no bows or, or kinks in it. So when I've done the other roof section and the end sections, um, as I said, I'll be using this plastic card sheeting to do sidings on on there. The plastic card sheeting I'm using is this JTT corrugated siding. Um, ideal for what I'm looking for. And I'll uh, update you with that video um, when I'm ready to do the next stage on that. For now, I want to get the roof done on this. Get these two buildings up into the loft area to do some sort of work on deciding where they're going to go exactly and planning for the farm area. Um, and that, I will also show you the progress I've done on that area. So that video will be coming very, very shortly. And uh, thank you very much. Goodbye.